Okay, welcome to Further On Shape. Uh, we're just going to delve a little bit further into some of the capabilities of the program and different methods of being able to create designs. Uh, so in this video, we're going to look at how to use a sketch to create an axis and how to use the revolve tool. So if you had a, a document open, then click on On Shape to go back to the beginning. Otherwise, this is what it should look like when you log in. And we're going to create a new document and we're going to call this Further On Shape. Okay, so from here, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create an axis first. So we follow the first two steps as normal. Select a surface, create a sketch and sort out your orientation. From here though, we're just going to select a line in the middle, at any length. We're not going to bother setting a distance and we're going to click the tick button. So now I've got an axis in the middle. That will become more apparent in a minute. We're then going to do exactly the same again and create a sketch in the same work plane. And from here, out right angles somewhere, I'm just going to create a circle. I'm going to make this 20 millimeters and I'm going to set that a distance from the middle to the middle of the circle and that distance is going to be 60 millimeters. And then I'm going to finish those two sketches without doing anything else. So what I've got is an axis and a circle. We're then going to click the revolve tool and it asks me two questions. First one, faces and sketch regions to revolve. That's my circle. And although it looks like it automatically got this, when it goes red, I actually need to click on it and I'm going to click on the axis. And what you'll see is I've created a donut. So it's taken this circle and it's rotated it 360 degrees around my axis. I can do other things, so I can go in one direction, for example, and I can set the degrees. If I want to go 120 degrees, for example, I could make that go symmetrically about my sketch, so it goes either side, and I could set it in two directions. These two are normally the ones that you'll use. So I'm going to go back to being full, and I'm going to click tick. So, I've used the Revolve tool. Now let's say my design changes and I actually want to create a double donut. So for this, what I'm going to do is I double click on the sketch, which reopens this sketch. I'm going to click somewhere up here, I'm going to create another 20 millimeter circle. And I'm going to place that by putting a dimension between the two middles of the circles and I'm going to make that 15 millimeters apart. I like my sketches to be nice and neat, so I'm going to use the trim tool to get rid of the two surfaces I don't want. And now if I zoom out and click tick, you can see I've edited my sketch. So that can be done at any point on any sketch. So including a revolve, you can go back and edit the sketches or edit the amount the revolve happens. So that's how to use a revolve. 